So I was thinking, once Gary gets back from sorting your dad's house out, we could all have a little evening together if you want. You could make us that veggie lasagna that you like. Mmm, yeah, that sounds really nice. Look, Kel, I know that it's your mum's funeral tomorrow and it's going to be really tough for you. Right, but please just remember that you've got so many people around you who care about you. Right, so if you want to talk or just let off a bit of steam. Yeah, no, I know. And I appreciate that. Oh, my God. Is it really you? Can I have a photo? What are you about? Not seeing the local rag? Picture you and Gary at the funeral. Looks like it was all kicking off. Oh, I don't believe this. You didn't know, did you? Whoops. Sorry. Are you? What? Sorry. Because from what I've heard, you kind of like having a go at people and upsetting them, don't you? It's a flaming joke. Why aren't you necking? No, no, not when you're having a go at people that I care about, all right? So when you wind your neck in and shut your gob whilst you're at it. Do you know what, love? If I was ten years younger, I'd still be an old cow. You mardy little get. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> don't be, that's made my day. Uh-oh, you two look serious. It's not to worry about. Well, my mum killed my dad and everything's peachy. It's a joke. Um, where's my little bro? He's out with Jake. And what's in the bag? A shed load of money. Your money. Mine? I found it stashed at your dad's. £17,000. Yeah, well, it's, it's probably covered in blood and coke. Well, that doesn't mean that you can't make use of it now, Cal. Uni fees are a right rip-off. Or you could use it for a deposit on a house. It means when you're much older, obviously, cos we love having you here. Gives you options, eh? Look, we can look after it for now until you decide what you want to do. OK. Ta.